Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. I cried with my whole heart, Hear me, O Most High, I will keep thy statutes. The righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. For I will at this time send all my plagues upon thine heart, and upon thy servants, and upon thy people, that thou may know that there is none like me in all the earth. For the Most High knoweth all them that sin against him, and therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them. For Ahiah shall not deliver you, because ye have sinned against him. I will send plagues upon thee, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, and pestilence, to waste thy houses with destruction and death. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And behold, according to the words of the prophet, the Messiah will set himself again the second time to recover them. Wherefore, he will manifest himself unto them in power and great glory unto the destruction of their enemies. When that day cometh, when they shall believe in him, and none will he destroy that believe in him. And they that believe not in him shall be destroyed, both by fire, and by tempest, and by earthquakes, and by bloodsheds, and by pestilence, and by famine. And they shall know that the Most High is power, the Holy One of Israel. And it shall come to pass that I will smite this my people with sore afflictions, yea, with famine and with pestilence, and I will cause that they shall howl all the day long. Behold, thou art Nephi, and I am Ahiah. Behold, I declare it unto thee in the presence of mine angels, that ye shall have power over this people, and shall smite the earth with famine and with pestilence and destruction according to the wickedness of this people. Behold, I give unto you power, that whatsoever ye shall seal on earth shall be sealed in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven, and thus shall ye have power among this people. And thus, if ye shall say unto this temple, it shall be rent in twain, it shall be done. And if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou cast down, and become smooth, it shall be done. And behold, if ye shall say that Ahiah shall smite this people, it shall come to pass. And now behold, I command you that ye shall go and declare unto this people that thus saith the Most High Power, who is almighty, except ye repent, ye shall be smitten, even unto destruction. And behold, now it came to pass that when the Most High had spoken these words unto Nephi, he did stop and did go unto his own house, but did return unto the multitudes who were scattered about the face of the land, and began to declare unto them the word of the Most High, which had been spoken unto him concerning their destruction if they did not repent. Now behold, notwithstanding the great miracle which Nephi had done in telling them concerning the death of the chief judge, they did harden their hearts and did not hearken unto the words of the Most High. Therefore Nephi did declare unto them the word of the Most High, saying, Except ye repent, thus saith the Most High, ye shall be smitten even unto destruction. And it came to pass that when Nephi had declared unto them the word, behold, they did still harden their hearts and would not hearken unto his words. Therefore they did revile against him and did seek to lay their hands upon him, that they might cast him into prison. But behold, the power of the Most High was with him, and they could not take him to cast him into prison, 
for he was taken by the Spirit and conveyed away out of the midst of them. And it came to pass that thus he did go forth in the Spirit from multitude to multitude, declaring the word of the Most High, even until he had declared it unto them all, or sent it forth among all people. And it came to pass that they would not hearken unto his words, and there began to be contentions, insomuch that they were divided against themselves, and began to slay one another with the sword. And thus ended the seventy and first year of the reign of the judges over the people of Nephi. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, and I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. If there be dearth in the land, if there be pestilence, if there be blasting or mildew, locust or caterpillars, if their enemies besiege them in the cities of their land, whatsoever sore or whatsoever sickness there be, then what prayer or what supplication soever shall be made of any man or of all thy people Israel, when every one shall know his own sore and his own grief and shall spread forth his hands in this house, then hear thou from heaven thy dwelling place and forgive and render unto every man according unto all his ways whose heart thou knowest for thou only knowest the hearts of the children of men that they may fear thee to walk in thy ways so long as they live in the land which thou gavest unto their fathers and the blood shall be for you a token upon the houses where ye are and when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church, whereof I am made a minister, according to the dispensation of Ahiah, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of Ahiah even the mystery which have been hid from the ages and from generations but now is made manifest to his saints to whom Ahiah would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles which is Christ in you the hope of glory whom we preach warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Yeshua whereunto I also labor, striving accordingly to his working, which worketh in me mightily. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Most High, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power. In him shall I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee.